For this portion, I'm going to talk about the three products that I did use that did really help my eyebrows. One of the products that I did use was a rosemary oil. It could be any brand. The one I used was the Rosemary Mint Oil by Niel. And this did help. I would just use a q-tip and I would put it directly on my eyebrow and only put it in that area and just massage it in. Another well-known product that I did use, this is specifically supposed to be for your scalp, but I use the Ordinary Hair Care Multi-Peptide Serum for Hair Density. Again, I just, I put this on a q-tip and just massaged it into my eyebrows. I know that they do have one specifically for, I think, your lashes and your eyebrows. It's like a two-in-one product. I haven't tried that one. I think because I've already purchased this multiple times, I just use this on my eyebrows. I've never had an issue, but if you do have the opportunity to pick the one that's specifically for your brows, it's probably better. That's what I used. The last thing I did use was an organic castor oil or just castor oil in general. Also, the castor oil product is the Namskara. Namskara, I think it's sold in or drugstores, but this one is 100%. Most of the time, you're gonna wanna, that I've noticed, you're gonna wanna dilute, you know, an oil. You don't want it to be 100%, so probably would dilute the castor oil before putting it on your eyebrows. I mix it in with something that can not have it be so extreme. I put this on a Q-tip as well and massage it into my eyebrows. I never mixed all of these three products together, but I would kind of just rotate all these three products and massage them into my eyebrows. I don't think they have to be those products specifically like the Miel or the Ordinary. I think you could find other alternatives just the same and they would work or just as good if not similar. So while I was trying to grow out my eyebrows because my eyebrows went from this to now this and it took about like six months to really see like a full difference but i would say like three months in is when you started to see the hair come back and i just wouldn't pluck them or do anything to them for those first three to six months because i couldn't really do anything with the shape if i needed all the eyebrows to grow back and have more of a blank slate so i waited about i would say like about five to six months before i started reshaping the brows I think if I was to go in and touch any of the, the brow hairs, I would only take out like the ones that are more obvious that you wouldn't want. Like if they're up here or like here, then like, yeah, you don't want those. But everything else super close to where my eyebrows were, where they were like stick thin, then I just wouldn't touch those. And then when it was like six months or so is when I started to really shape them back out. They were really thick for a period of time. And then I ended up setting them out just a tad. I think I'm in the process of growing them a little bit more back out and right now I don't have any makeup on on my face or in my brows so right now it's just I think I put like a little bit of lip liner or a little bit of lip product on and some mascara on but there's no face product on right now or brow product so this is what they look like right now and they were just a lot more thinner a year ago and I just used those products pretty regularly. Yeah. I would just rotate all three products and I really did see more of a difference. I would think it's pretty similar to when you're massaging your scalp that it's going to be as you would if you were massaging your eyebrow with the product and I just would do it very gently, very lightly massage it in or you could use the q-tip and massage it in and just do it very gently. That's that's what I did. I guess this would be the q-tip and that's it. Like I don't, you don't want to be rough with it. I, I wasn't rough with it so I think if I can bring you in. Yeah, so right now they're like not symmetrical. I think I have other footage I can show you, but I don't have them filled in right now. You can tell they're more sparse on the outer edges. Also, I will say that you don't have to use any of these products specifically. That's what I did to grow my brows back out. It's a, just a lot of time, patience, and making sure you're not blocking them in the process of them growing out. And the oils were just kind of the additive that did kind of help get them to as thick as they could. That is what helped me 
grow my eyebrows back out. But I'm gonna insert some footage either on the side of a close up of what I'm talking about and also my before of how my eyebrows were, how I got to that point. They were just so thin. I don't know why I had like eyebrow blindness where I just thought they looked better thinner or they just, I thought they maybe would have lifted my eyebrows or lifted my face. Some people can pull off the thinner eyebrow look. Apparently my face just can't. Or maybe I just did them incorrectly. I don't really know, but I would rather just keep the eyebrows that are more not too thick, not too thin for my face. Cause I know it's really, it really depends on how your face shape is how your eyebrows are naturally shaped and how you can, I guess, manipulate them into the way you want them with while having them still look fairly natural. So that is the journey I've been on for about six months to a year, growing my eyebrows back out. Also, side note, I'm sure there are better alternatives to the products I mentioned to put on your brows. This is just what has helped me. I can't say that it's necessarily correct or how much validity it would help everyone else's brows or anyone else that is dealing with the same thing I was going through. This is just again what personally helped me get my eyebrows as thick as they could or I could get them back as thick as possible or how fast I could get them back as thick as possible. I definitely think it just helps. The oils definitely helped increase the circulation when I was massaging them. If not, it was just helping me remind myself to do that to increase the growth of my eyebrows so take that with what you will that is what helped me so i will probably put a headband on so you can fully see my eyebrows look like without any makeup distorting it or filled in you can see what my brows look like without any any makeup on and i like these i don't think they're not completely symmetrical i find this one to be a little bit more thicker than this one Here's like a super close up of my brows and you can tell they're growing out, but I don't think I'd go any, any thinner than this. This is like thin for me, so never again. And yeah, I just, I just shape them myself. There are things I do to make them look more thicker, but I think that's gonna be in a whole other video and it's not because of growing them back, but that I would fill them in other than just using makeup product. That will be in a separate video. I can never, I don't know why I can never do a proper middle part. My hair never wants to part completely in the middle but always just looks odd i should address the, the background um i usually film in front of this white backdrop my closet that is the usual setup for me i just figured to get better lighting i need to get closer to the window that is in front of me i also have my lighting above turned on and i have a light source over here usually i will have a light box on top of the camera i just figured to get a better quality video because you saw my last video i didn't realize how grainy the footage was until i started editing it and i really didn't want to go back and refilm it because it took an hour to try on all those clothes anyways doesn't really matter um yeah so hopefully this is the new the new setup i just want to say thank you so much for watching and i hope i see you in the next video bye